How do you do it? It's just it's like, just, just okay, like. Okay, hand up. Is it any hand? Just one Yeah, hand? any hand. Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. You gotta say it. Oh, I have to say it? I'm like too... Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Gucci! Gucci. So I know you love baking. Yes, very much. That makes me love you even more. I love baking and I kind of thought we could decorate cookies. Halloween is right around the corner and so I have Best holiday. It's like, what? what is not to love? You get to eat candy. I know. Like, and get free candy too. Yes, exactly. And you get to dress up and it is just a good time. There's so many things I want to ask you, but first of all, like one thing, I, I loved the film, mm. um, eighth grade. If you guys haven't watched it, like you need to watch it ASAP. It's such a powerful film. And it really made me super nostalgic because mm, yeah. I think I might be exactly 10 years older than you. Because what mm. year do you graduate high school? I'm 15 right now. You're 15 right now. So I'm a sophomore in high school. Well, the world has changed a lot since I was a sophomore in high school. And when I was 15 years old, I came to New York for the first time, walked in at New York Fashion Week, and it just changed my life. And mm. this career started overnight. Like, how, how did your friends, or how are your friends reacting to kind of what's happening in your life. They're very supportive, which is awesome, but like, surprisingly, they don't care that much. Mm -hmm. um, which I'm, I'm a total fan that they don't care, honestly. Yeah. Cause like, you know, I, I, I just want to be normal and treated normal. This is a job, it's yeah. not, it, like, I mean, it's very lucky what I get to do and I think it's super cool. But I mean like, you know, I should just be treated as normally and, and badly and, and, you know, teased. <laughs> just like a normal whatever year old. Yeah. Okay, what are you doing to your cookie over here? So, I started, I started with the blue, which in retrospect was a bad <laughs> choice. I'm making a pumpkin. <laughs> And it's gonna be a great pumpkin. It's a flop, but it's okay. <laughs> Do you think that the film Eighth Grade and like the character that you play is gonna have a positive influence? I hope. I mean, it's at least had a positive influence on me, so I really appreciate that. Um, but I mean, like getting to show it to people around the country and, mm -hmm. and you know, just people has been really special and the response has been really great. She didn't have Twitter in middle school and we did. That made us different. Kayla, you're not different than us. <laughs> yeah. When did you get Snapchat? What grade? Fifth grade. Fifth, Fifth grade? Jesus. Oh. What? Yes. Does it feel like a really normal, like a real portrayal of like kind of normal life for you? It is very close to my own life in a lot of ways, um, yeah. especially with how it deals with like anxiety, for instance. Um, but yeah, no, I think it's a really accurate portrayal of teens, and it, I, I think you know, the best part of that is that it's just really like respectful of a teen's experience. Mm. Um, because I mean, I, I think a lot of teen stories need to be validated as just important as uh, adult stories. This is really cute. Why are you cute? It's cuter than mine. Yeah, they're not. They I like are. your pumpkins. This is like a, it's, it's artistic. It's yeah. It's like, you know, it's See, you're real. bringing perspective into this. <laughs> There's snow on my pumpkin for some reason. I think snow on pumpkin is very, like a very good aesthetic. Thank you. What are you excited about in the world, in life? Like, yeah, well, um, yeah, I'm doing some more acting stuff, so that's fun. Um, I'm gonna be in the new Adam's Family that's being animated and coming out. No so way. I'm very excited about that. Oh my gosh, congrats. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, but I mean, like, I play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends yes. a lot, and it's like, I love that. fun nerd stuff. I'm like, by the way, when I find, found that out about you, I was like, Oh, that's like kind of the coolest little known fact. Like, you have a Dungeons and Dragons pod. Yeah, yeah. With, with some of my friends from school. I mean, I didn't even know that was like a thing. And I'm definitely well, like, is, I'm gonna baby. subscribe right now. Thank you, We're Queen. Gonna link it in here. And if you're yes. watching, you need to subscribe. I love cool. that the frosting is <laughs> exploding. Yeah. We're really we're messy. High, bakers. high budget, high tech <laughs> bakery facility here. Your character is struggling with confidence mm. in in the movie, but you're a super confident young lady, <laughs> and you're an old soul, and you've got like you know a wisdom. But like, what would you say to girls who are struggling with confidence? What I do because it works mm. is like, you you have a lot of people that you're gonna meet in your life, and they seem important to you, but like, 
If they're not a positive force in your life, you don't need them, you're never going to see them again, goodbye, get out. Um, like but I mean like, yeah, just uh, really focus on yourself and being yes. happy with yourself and, you know, coming off to other people as a good person and being confident is great, but like even mm. if you don't, first and foremost, you have to be happy with yourself and your opinion is the most important regarding yourself and it's really yeah. easy to lose sight of that, but I think it's something we should all remember. This is kind of not panning out, but you know what? It's okay. This one, I like this, like, snaggle tooth. Yeah, yeah, I try to go for, like, a little demon here. Yeah. So I feel like that's really an underrepresented that. Halloween group, and I appreciate mm. demons. There you go. I love your pumpkins, though. Well, okay, so I have to explain my, my um, artistic perspective on yes. the pumpkin. So I started out, I found a weird-shaped cookie, and I turned it into a pumpkin. And it felt very, like, you know, basic, yeah. but very, you know, classic. And then I thought, I... I'm not going to go just for a classic, boring no, circle win. pumpkin. I'm going to go from the aerial view. So we've got a <laughs> unique perspective on a cookie. This is my final one. This is my mouse. Um, <laughs> he's really my masterpiece, but I kind of... He's searching for his identity because he's French, but he's here in America <laughs> celebrating Halloween. He's a foreign exchange mouse. <laughs> okay, so I made a skeleton and... The chest is a little, mm, this is supposed to be a chest and oh, like arms. It? Yeah. And then I have this final pumpkin boy that we started with. Oh, he's, he's very crumbly. Really crumbly. But I, I think I, I saved it. He's like kind of angry, but happy. I don't know. He's like, I mean, I think a lot of pumpkins are angry and happy, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's like evil, but not too evil. I, it's a tough life in the pumpkin. You're amazing. I'm really excited <laughs> to see all the ways that your career continues to blossom and also just the way that you are so authentically you and you send such a powerful message out <laughs> to the world and to my YouTube audience. And, you know, guys, you have to go subscribe to this Dungeons and Dragons podcast now. Please, I will love you forever. Yes, 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 you're missing out. Thank you for coming and baking cookies. Yeah, of course, I appreciate it. And for matching for 20. Yeah, of course, for 20. <laughs> Gucci. <laughs>